Why should we bother with the 2030 framework today, where we have so many other problems and issues in the EU, we have the financial crisis, economic crisis, social crisis in, in many member states. Uh, why to bother at all and why not to wait until a little bit later? And I think the answer is very simple because, first of all, because the climate change is not waiting, so the problems will not solve by themselves. And secondly, because when we look at the most of the issues what we want to achieve and what measures to take, most of them they bring economic benefits. For instance, if we want to promote the renewables, we will cut on the uh, bills on the imported fuels. Uh, so we will not spend money elsewhere, abroad, if you like. We can invest this money in the EU and bring the jobs. If we want to increase the uh, competitiveness of the European business, we can make them use less resources, including the energy, and produce more, and insulate better against the, the, the volatility of the, of the energy prices. And so there are a number of things that we could do as the way out of getting out of the crisis and not wait until we are out of the crisis and then it will be too late and the bill will be way too high. So why does Europe need three targets for 2030? One specific target for energy savings, one for renewable energy and one for greenhouse gas reductions? Well, firstly, investments in renewable energy and energy savings are so-called no-regret options. Under any decarbonization scenario for the European economy, we need to have this type of investment. So there must be tailor-made policies for efficiency and for renewable energy. Secondly, investments in renewable energy and energy efficiency will also help other policy objectives. They will deliver jobs, they will bring down healthcare costs uh, that are not caused by, by pollution, or for example coal plants, and they will also help uh, energy security to bring down uh, our dependence on imports of fossil fuels. Uh, thirdly, uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency targets can bring down the cost of future emission reductions uh, because they will provide uh, certainty for investors, so capital costs will be lower uh, and they will bring down the cost of these technologies as such due to uh, skill advantages and learning curves. So Europe should choose for three targets to make sure that we make the transition to a green economy. Can we have three targets for 2030? The answer is yes, but the issue is not whether you can or you cannot. The issue is what you need to have in order to be able to have three targets. And the issue is flexibility. And it's not only for the three targets, it's in general for the climate and energy package. You need flexibility because you cannot predict the future and because markets need the clarity of purpose. So you need to have flexibility in order to adjust to changes in the economic conditions. You need to have flexibility in order to address the uh, uncertain output from renewable energy and energy efficiency which accompany the emission trading system and you need flexibility to address changes in international conditions and competitiveness. If you don't have this then you cannot have technology neutrality and you start having to make other types of choices but in this case markets don't work well. So yes you can have them but you need a coordinating mechanism and adjusting mechanism that takes into account our uh, failures to forecast the future. Unfortunately, this is something that we have to live with and we have to adjust to.